Welcome to two case. Sports, we have the NBA coming up. Great to have you with us. This is Brian Anderson. I'm here with Hall of Famers Grant Hill and Doris Burke, our reporter, Ali LaForce. We've got the Boston Celtics taking on the Detroit Pistons. Pass to Hamilton. Fires the three. Oh, can't get it. Misses his first attempt. Smart with the ball. Here's Tatum. Covered by Williamson. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Pistons. Here's Billups. Pass to Hamilton. For three. Orford pulls it in. Now here's Smart. Inside. Here's Tatum. And finished off by Tatum. Oh, don't you love how unselfish Marcus Smart is? Sees the open man, whips the pass over in just the right amount of space. Defense dodged a bullet that time. Total breakdown. Pass to Brown. From outside the arc. Rebounded by the Pistons. And now the Pistons in transition. Here's Phillips. That one's in. Coming off a nice dish from Williamson. And despite the size mismatch, getting a little aggressive down there in the paint. Some guys just relish the challenge. Find a way, and he does. Knocked loose. And it's going to be out of bounds. Boston will have another go. A great read to get a hand in there and disrupt the play. And offensively, a little bit of a careless toss. You could have used a better angle on that pass. And it's Tatum missing. Pass to Billups. And so they foul intentionally. I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Two minutes played here in the first quarter. Wallace. The rebound, Celtics. And here's Smart. Pass to Brown. Now Tatum. Carries it down low. Well, Tatum is a three-level scorer. Able to get to that jumper when it's available. This time working the interior. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Wallace's shot is good. There is an imagination, a creativity. This guy's passing drives the offense. Pass to Brown. And Brown with the stuff. How fantastic is Jalen Brown getting the position he wants deep inside? Easily slams it home. To the middle. Here's Milicic. Here's Phillips. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Down low. Here's Brown. Horford, left side. Tatum. Wallace pulls it in. 
Got to credit the defense. They found a way to stop him, and that's never an easy task. Pass to Milicic. Tries again. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. They get it back. And he's able to get it back. Count that one. And he's just beating them to the punch on the boards right now. I mean, he, he's making a real big statement. Yeah, we're seeing some early signs that he is on his game. That putback's a good illustration of the work he's ready to put in tonight. And Horford gets it to go. Um, this is how Al Horford has adjusted to make himself a modern NBA big. In rhythm, off the catch, beautiful. With two hands on the rock, he powers it through. Totally in control, protecting the ball the whole way. Tatum from long range. Grant, they could attempt a two for one here. They could. The key here is a good look. Shot by Hamilton, no good. The Celtics with the lead. Horford for three. Wallace pulls it in. 26 seconds left in the first quarter. To the inside. Here's Milicic. An easy two on the layup. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. Pass to Brown. Beyond the arc. The Pistons clear it. With two seconds left. Well, we didn't see the same kind of control we're used to seeing from him. This guy is usually a tremendous finisher. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out ahead in the second quarter. And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Pistons. They've been really going at the defense in the painted area, and so far, the opposition really hasn't had an answer for them. And the other thing I love, how they're making the extra pass. They're not settling for the first shot. They're going from good to great. Back to White. Second shot opportunity. Exactly what good offensive players do. Lean into that defender. Level of physicality puts you at the free throw line. It's both from the stripe. You can tell when he steps to the line the kind of confidence he has in himself. It's written all over his body language. And he gets the bucket. He has six. You have to have the vision to find the open man. Beautiful pass. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Thank you very much, Brian. Well, Jalen Brown has been vocal when it comes to social justice. He said, quote, people need to step up and use their platform. Keep conversations alive and show people that you care. Where your influence is biggest, try to leverage it. Brian, he knows his stuff. Stand up. Allie, thanks. Now put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Boy, the tide is running one way and then shifts back in the other direction. I've lost count of how many lead changes we've had here tonight. First personal foul. And he knocks down the first one. At the line. And so he makes both from the line. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Now Brogdon. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Outside White. Offensive board. No good there. And an intentional foul right there. And Boston calls time here. First personal foul. Just about a minute and a half has passed here in the second quarter. Here's Milicic. And he dunks it down. Good play call and good execution. The offense running on all cylinders. To the paint. Here's Brown. And the jam by Brown. 
Well, I absolutely love that pass from Marcus Smart. Almost like a sixth sense relative to where his teammate was. Pass to Billups. From the arc. Nails it from beyond the arc. He's got seven. Well, if you offer no resistance defensively, he's going to knock down the three. It's really that simple, guys. The Pistons leading. Here's Hamilton. Defended by Brown. Here's Milicic. Out to the right wing. Shot clock at six. Pass to Hamilton. Releases. And he can't bank that one in. Well, he's a quality mid-range shooter, but he can't get that one to go. Down low. And Horford powers it home. Well, this is the aspect of Tatum's game that is most improving. The ability to manipulate defenses and find an open teammate. Now here's Williamson. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Pass to Wallace. The Pistons need to get one up quick. Milicic can't get it to go. Austin trailing. Brown with it. Outside Tatum. Let's a three fly. And a great assist by Brown as that one goes in. This guy's so effective from downtown. Jason Tatum knows he has the green light. He's so comfortable from range. And almost four minutes gone in the second quarter of play. Pass to Milicic. Here's Billups. Guarded by Brogdon. Here's Hamilton. Will not go. Misses off the front iron. And Boston has possession. Here's Hauser. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. That will help your assist numbers if you're Derek White. You can't miss that guy. Here's Hamilton. And he jams it after taking the nice feed on the run. Oh, what ferocity on the throwdown. I just love when he goes up with purpose. Where was the D right there? The effort lacking big time. Yeah, and give him credit for taking advantage in a close game. Those are the types of plays that can swing things in your direction. When the defense totally lost track of him, he punishes them with a three-pointer. That's a bad decision. Here's Billups. Uses the glass on the layup. He's got nine. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Outside White. And again, Boston with the triple. Yeah, on the catch and shoot game, Derek White, very assertive, ready to react. Pass to Wallace. Here's Hamilton with four on the clock. Up again. It's good on the putback. That close end against a way shorter defender, you could just put up two. Derek White getting it done for the Celtics. 11 points in the quarter. He's on fire. We'll be back in a moment. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. Now here's Smart. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first point of the game. A dangerous shooter from all areas. Brown's eyes get real big when he shoots these corner threes. Here's Hamilton. Oh, and there's a one-hand jam. And just a lack of fight right now on the defensive end. Right? At least on that slam it was. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Right. You can see on that possession, one side playing with a little desperation, the other side losing focus. Horford with a steal. Here's Tatum. 
About a minute played here in the second half. Puts up a three. And they get it back. Let's go with a three. Sinks it from distance. Tatum's got 10 points in the game. Jalen Brown has improved as a setup guy. That pass was on time and on target. Hey, kept it simple. No reason to get fancy right now, B.A. Yeah, he's just looking to find shots and produce for his team. Pass to Smart. The three ball. And the shot is good on the assist by Tatum. Smart's got himself on the board with a three there. Here's Wallace. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Now Horford. Right side, Tatum. Inside. Outside, Brown. There's the triple. The shot comes out. The Pistons go the other way with it. To the middle. Pass to Hamilton. It's James on the wing. Here's Wallace. He can't hit that time. Some solid defense from Williams. Oh, a deep three from Tatum. An absolute bomb from three-point range. He's got 13. Nice decision by Tatum. Go to the pull-up game so you don't meet the defender at the rim. And some changes here for the Celtics. Here's Williamson. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. To the inside. Here's Wallace. He got a piece of it. Boy, don't test Blake. By every move out there on the floor, he's anticipating and sending it back. Boston on offense. They're on a 12-4 run. Outside White. Jacks up a three. That shot missing. Detroit with the ball. A 12-point game. Pass to Wallace. Here's Milicic. Second chance shot. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. The first free throw is good. And that's good as he hits both shots. Fantastic ball movement for them tonight. If things are definitely working offensively, a balanced attack is just so much harder to defend. Pass to Hauser. And it's blocked. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Out to the wing. Williamson. Here's Wallace. Controls the rebound and the putback. Ooh, hard work creating the second chance opportunity. Pass to Griffin. Back to White. Down low. Here's Griffin. And a missed layup. The Pistons trailing. Not sure why he committed the intentional foul. No purpose. I think everyone's a little confused, but weird plays happen. And Boston calls time here.
That one's off. And he's good on the second. 44 seconds left to play in the third quarter of basketball. Smart with the ball. To the middle. Here's Tatum. Oh, Tatum slams it home. Great scorers need easy opportunities to pile up those points. Tatum above the rim and the nice finish. Now here's Tatum. He's got 15. They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. And the three off target. Pass to Wallace. The three, James. And so it's Boston going into the break up 12. And their defense has stood out. 34, the Celtics. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. Here's Billups. He shoots it. Gallinari pulls it in. Listen, that's a shot he can make, but obviously the defense okay letting him shoot it. Here's White. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And the Celtics lead by 14. That's all about determination from Derek White. Doesn't let the contact deter him. All right, guys, what do you think so far on the offensive approach for the Celtics? What a performance from beyond the arc in this game. They stuck to their guns, and it's paid off all game. Well, I also noticed, guys, how much they move the ball in this one. Selfless, willing to pass the ball to a teammate with a better look. Here's Brogdon. And the layup is good off the glass. Well, the dribble drive from Malcolm Brogdon is one of the key aspects to balance that pretty perimeter game. What a nice move. Inside. Here's Wallace. Boston with a rebound. Well, that's a case where a guy's trying to make a play, trying to take it up strong, but the defense was ready. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Well, we are talking about an elite free throw shooter. If you send Malcolm Brogdon to the line, you will pay. And so Brogdon nails both of them. That'll be a five-second call. I think that's going to stick with them for a while. Huge mistake at a critical juncture in the game. And I think the intention doesn't always equal the result. Wrong play, wrong time. 